Hi everybody, today we're doing a quick and easy dinner, like when you have to work those late nights but you still want to eat. <laughs> so we're making some quesadillas. Yeah, Lulu's ready, right? She loves her quesadillas. I know, all right? So just keep watching, but make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thanks. All right, so the first thing you need are your tortillas. Um, you can use flour, corn, wheat, combination of the flour and corn, um, gluten-free, whatever you kind you like. I'm just using regular flour tortillas for this. All right, and I already prepped my fillings. So here we have some um, sliced pepper jack cheese, some uh, sliced oh, scallions. Oh. For the protein, I'm using steak, oh. just pan seared a sirloin on either side for a oh, you know, oh. couple minutes on each side, just to get a little brown on them. You can use chicken, you can use black beans, tofu, whatever you want. Um, or you don't have to put anything at all. Just cheese and scallions works really well too. All right, so what we're gonna do first is we are going to arrange the cheese. Yes, Lulu, yes. Yes, I'm making you the quesadillas. Yes, I'm gonna put extra cheese. I'm putting extra cheese. All right, so we got our cheese layer. All right, then we're just gonna sprinkle some scallions. As many as you want. You can use red onion. Um, you don't have to use scallions. Shallots work really nice with this too. I really like the flavor that the shallot, the scallions bring. All right, and then we're gonna arrange some steak. Just around the whole thing. So this way, every bite, you'll have some meat. But again, you use chicken. You know, this is a great thing to do with leftover chicken. All right. Then we're just gonna put a couple more slices of cheese on top. Right. and then top of the tortilla. Right. So the next. So once you got them all prepped, you're gonna put them in the microwave just for 45 seconds. What you wanna do is you just wanna melt the cheese. Show it holds together when you're pan frying it. All right, so now we wait. So after 45 seconds, you'll see cheese is nice and melted. This thing is all stuck together. It's hot and kind of burning my hand. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna prep the rest of them. Five total, I have string beans for the dogs. Uh, yes, Lulu, yes. Yes, I'm making you the quesadillas. All right, yes, I'm giving you string beans too. All right, so we're gonna prep the rest of them. And then, once you got them all prepped, you wanna preheat your saute pan. You wanna get it nice and hot. You wanna make sure you're using a nonstick um, pan. You're gonna heat it up under high heat for just, you know, until the pan gets nice and hot. You're gonna drop your tortilla right on it. Ah, All right, so this thing get hot ah, enough. <laughs> but we're just gonna, you know, crisp up the sides. You may want to lower the heat just a little bit once you see it starting to brown underneath. All right. Yes, Lulu. I'm making your quesadillas. I'm making it. <sighs> once you um, start hearing some sizzling, it's probably time to turn it over. So, I'm going to give this a flip. Let's see, look at that. Nice and brown on the one side. I mean, nice and crispy. So now we're going to do the same to the other side. And that's it. You got yourself a beautiful quesadilla. And once you got them all crisped up, they're ready to serve. Look at that. Melty cheese, crunchy tortilla. You can even do these on the grill, but it's hot out. <laughs> so I like them. The pan fried works just as well. And oh, so delicious. Yes, Lulu, now dinner's ready. Okay, are you happy? Are you happy? You're happy, yay. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Poppy's Cucina. Thanks.